At the very last, bone weary, spent, strength sapped, he returned to Uruk. The city he had built, resigned there to die. He had the tale of his exploits <laughs> recorded by scribes. By the chief scribe, Asapu. Yes, that's me! Pressed into clay, carved into stone, engraved as a monument for all time of. Uruk, mighty city. He built the walls. See them. They have no rival. Go up. Walk the battlements. Inspect the foundation. Check the brickwork. Four square miles measures Uruk. One mile city. One mile orchard. One mile clay pit. One mile the open ground of the temple of Ishtar. Ishtar. Goddess of love. Goddess of war. Goddess of justice. It was Gilgamesh who built it all. Warrior lord. Hero. Hero. Strong as a bull. Mighty as a flood wave. He tore open mountain passes. Crossed the seas to meet the rising sun. Searched the edges of the earth. Sought life without end. None compares with him. For who can say I am king? Who is not Gilgamesh? Two thirds god. One third man. The shape of his body, his form, was perfect. In Uruk, he would walk, head held high, proud like a stallion, a lion, a bull. For sheer strength, none could match him. For raw energy, he had no equal. Gilgamesh was always. Oh, come on. It's an ancient Akkadian word for vigour, virility, vitality. Ooh. It means I am seriously tough. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously. Very tough. I'm a fierce warrior. You know, look, look, I'll show you. Come on. Come on, get up. Let's fight. Let's train with wooden sticks, wooden swords, real swords, huge swords. We're with spears and javelins and shit. Let's let's dig rivers and build yeah. walls and let's throw stuff, tons of yeah. stuff. And then they hate it, all of it. Yeah. And then let's let's make wine, drink wine, get yeah. drunk, and let's make war, drink yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, let's make love and let's fight and drink and fight some more. Yeah. Yeah. Look at us, we, the lads of Uruk, 
since his arrival to manhood, we doubt our own survival. Come to no good. He fights us night and day. Never lets us rest. Away of him, this still the best. Dear God, you don't half test. No girl can cross the street untouched. But her ass gets clutched. Her wrath waves pursuing. And her skirts are flung by No man can say, we're just his prey. Gods make him go away. Gods! When you made him so puku. Gave him such an itch. Did you think how to undo Find it? Find the off switch. That's the only glitch. It's a blood feud. He will not be subdued. Pray give us fortitude to end the day. Or better still, make him go away. is too puku. He has no rival. So make him one. There's only one logical sequel to our entreaty. Create him an equal. Some, Some fresh flesh for Gilgamesh to thresh. I think we need to make him a friend. Yes, you are right. A friend is the only sensible way to proceed. Summon Aruru, mother of Earth. Aruru, mother of Earth. So it is written that what you... What more do you want from me? Aruru. I have given birth Mother to the entire population uh, of the planet. Should produce this. But my uterus is like the skin on an elephant's neck. Oh. For my vagina. One last time, Aruru, for the peace of Oru. <laughs> I have spoken. Create a friend for Gilgamesh. You shall call him... Enkidu! Put Oruk away! <laughs> Dream of a of a thuru, mother of a thuru, mother of a thuru, mother Hear these plaintive words These words The wind Your hands in the fresh water, in the fresh water. From the mighty freighties, she pinched off clay from clay pits. She pinched off clay and cast it out. A rude fashioned on clay. So, Mother Aruru gave birth to Enkidu! Yeah. 
no, 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 I did. Area is an Afghan hound. Crowned with a tangled mop. Right on top of it, too. Dead proper filled us full of dread. Oh, I nearly turn and fled. Fierce yellow eyes all aglow, like steaming piss holes in the snow. Dank and sweaty like a yeti. Some kind of a, a fat baboon. Like a comet. Fell from the moon. Well, didn't any of you brave tough hunters try to catch it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, no! You crack! Go totally cookie! No human being could catch that monkey! Corral that Neanderthal! Have that working carpet! Shaggy Yahoo! No, Gilgamesh! Not even you! Well, uh, let's then leave him there and party! Yeah, all right! <laughs> Why did, you, why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it, Gilgamesh! A, a beast, you will eat no more flesh, none of us will! We hunters can no longer kill us, throw our traps, set everything free. So unless you two want to just eat grass... Someone needs to ship their ass. <laughs> More's the pity, but I am king, I can't just leave the city. Gilgamesh, we are dismayed, you must send someone to our aid! Someone unafraid? Who cast this creature into shame? Some call me a prostitute, some call me a whore. The gods made your body. But I decide what it's for now. Where's this hairy hill? A man, I'll bring him in line. He'll be fine when he's finished. Worshipping at the shrine, they'll show. A warrior 
like a conqueror. Like there's literally nothing I could not do. Put something on! <laughs> Look, come with me. In Uruk, the king awaits you. There is your destiny. There your fate. Gilgamesh is his name. Ox strong. People throng to see his fame, to see Gilgamesh, chief of the clan. Lead me to Uruk. I will fight this man! You are the king. Yes, I am Gilgamesh, king of the mighty city of Uruk. King Gilgamesh, look at you. To think I came here to fight. And your ah, Enki Dudu, famed wild man. You stink like a bag of shut. <laughs> So have I. That is why I cry. God's forged me. Why? To bring me to your eye. I cannot fight you, brother. Then let's find another. Hey, oh. brave friend, where to? North. To Lebanon. To fight the foul giant Humbaba. Humbaba? Is he yet defiant? I shall kill this giant. And we will tell this next thing at the Shadow Puppet Lay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now introducing you to your orchestra and narrators. Oh, just me. <laughs> <laughs> On day three, 
tree they crossed so high Their heads were knocking on the sky They drew their swords and said holla to the mighty ogre, Humbaba. Roar! Foolish mess, Gilgamesh mess, and Porpon Hilbon Roots Boy, roar! Oh my, ow! Oh, what sharp teeth! Enkidu, after you. Ah, ask why you are here, bitten off more than you can chew, chew mess. <laughs> Oh my, what fiery eyes. Oh, Gilgamesh, please go first. You're the best. Go on after you. No, I didn't want to. Did you see how sharp his teeth were? Yeah, but I had to get right up close to those fiery eyes and I didn't like... Anchor Smash and Gilgadu, make up minds. Who will Humbaba chew? Now I will tap and you will tap. Now taste this tap and I will... Friend, stand back. This one is clearly more poo cool than you. Now I will tap, and you will tap. Now suck this up, and I will. <laughs> Foolish Gilgamesh and Enkidu. Now you shall taste Humbaba's mighty fire. And taste another fire. Oh, oh, oh. And another fire. <laughs> Are you crying? No! And so, weeping Gilgamesh called upon the gods, Anu, the god of sky, and the Anunnaki way up high. We have this dreadful ogre crossed. Help us, gods, or we are lost. Poor Gilgamesh felt so weak. He sat straight down and began to weep. Yeah, I thought so. I am not! <laughs> As he begged the gods for grace, tears streamed down his kingly face. Can you shut up? Big, wet, drippy tears, symbols of his drippy fear. I am not crying! Oh, help us, you gods! Oh, there does seem to be some trouble down there. I too have heard it, Anu. Yes, I did it's think I heard something. Sounded a bit like help. Yes, help. help. We're, we're being attacked, being attacked by, by a hideous ogre. ogre. Oh, that's my ogre. Can you own an ogre? I sat him to guard the pine for us. It's oh. an excellent idea, Alim, to protect the pine. Help us, Anu! We don't need to ask about. Uh, we should call for Ishtar. Been sulking since the flood. Ishtar! <laughs> uh, we need you to help defeat the ogre Humba. No, that's my ogre. Oh, take Ellen's wind. No, not you. my wind. <laughs> and so the gods took pity on Gilgamesh and sent Ishtar. The gods have taken pity on you, Gilgamesh, and have sent me. Here, have some wind. My wind. And so Ishtar cast down her winds to help defeat the ogre, Humbaba. My ogre. And so Ishtar cast down her winds on the ogre. The north wind. The south wind. The east wind. And the tempest! Until at length the ogre lost his strength, and Gilgamesh swiftly put the blade of his axe in the ogre's foot. How Humbaba roared! Oh, Gilgamesh, oh, Humbaba, like a tall pine, fall down! Oh. <laughs> and so they did him slay. The mighty ogre died that day. Here ends Humbaba, a shadow play. Gilgamesh, you were amazing. Oh, brother Enkidu, you were incredible. Enkidu, let's sing. <laughs> Gilgamesh and me, now we own these trees. We're brothers because we never let a thing come in between us. So beautiful and strong and wild. In your arms, I am like a child. I'll never leave. 
I'll never leave Enki do We are brothers But I love you like I love my axe That I love like a wife <laughs> And I know We're worlds apart And I know You'll break my heart I'll never leave I'll never leave. Good night, Enkidu. Ishtar? Gilgamesh, my hero. I can offer you everything that a goddess of love, beauty, yeah. desire. The succulence of Shamhat, whore of heaven, is nothing to the succulence of Ishtar. <laughs> Taste my fruits and give me yours. Your slaying of Humbaba has aroused in me a fire that the gushing waters of all the storm clouds of heaven cannot quench. Only you, Gilgamesh, king of Uruk, only you can cool the furnace of my lust. Be my husband and rule with me and, and you shall have this gold chariot dragged by demons. Your house shall be made of Humbaba's pine trees, and kings and princes of the world shall prostrate themselves before you, and you shall tread upon them. You shall feast upon the fat of the land, and your livestock shall bring forth poison. Your you shall have twins, triplets your goats, quadruplets your mules, quintuplets your asses, your horses shall drain whole earth in a time of your oxen. Stop, stop. That's quite the offer. <laughs> For a goddess of so many things. <laughs> and I do wonder. Ishtar, uh, I do wonder what I, humble king, uh, could perhaps offer in return to one who has so much already, to one who has had so many. <laughs> <laughs> Your first love, that lovely shepherd, poor dear Demuzi, who turned his head till he felt woozy, then chucked him right out on his... Uh, 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 said he should weep me right here. <laughs> you say you love beautiful things, pearls and jewels and gemstone rings. They gave you paradise lovebirds. And you broke their wings. My, My wings. wings. <laughs> you love the lion, admired its might. Ah. Now, in your cages, it's chained up tight. Hmm? You gave your horses freedom, let them rip. Now, it's bridle, spurs and whip. So you loved the woodsman too, watched him slog, chop the tree and saw the log. You kicked him, bit him, and turned him into a mangy dog. So, you'll excuse me if I'm not too keen to know what it's like being loved by you. Scorpion, black widow, mantis. You eat your lovers when you are sated. I'd rather not end up in your belly just for the pleasure of being mated. What about you, Mr. Man Hall? Must I remind you why Enkidu was created? Ow. Because you left no woman of Urg untouched. No girl stayed a maiden long after you chanced by. Yes, I have an appetite fit for a god. Yes, I am what they call <laughs> What of it? I fought the street boys of Uruk. I taught them respect. I drank the nectar from the Faraharing girls of Uruk. And then Mother Aruru made Enkidu. In him, I met my match. In him, I found my true self. I took him in and I made him my brother. You may be, Ishtar, the goddess of love and sex and desire, but you would tame me. You would drain me of my strength and leave me bound and helpless. Go. Leave me to my Enkidu. So that's a no then. Hmm? Did you really think the offer was still on the table? Yes, Gilgamesh, I am the god of all of those things, but there is one thing more. Not only am I the god of... Love. Beauty. Sex. Desire. I am also the god 
of no! Another tower. What do you think? Mother! It has a clear view over all sections of the city, see? Clear view of the clay. And yes. of the orchard right there. And of the open ground to the south. And of your temple, Ishtar. Yeah, let my temple rot, let my temple quake in its foundations and the earth crack beneath it. Let it fall, never to rise again! Call the scribes. Oh, and the scribes! <laughs> <coughs> What makes what my makes? Mesopotamia great makes? What my makes? Mesopotamia M-S-P-O-T-A-M-I-A Am I aging? Well, sure. But will I be forgotten when the sun hits the bottom of the time around? I don't worry about that, Jack, because in M-E-S-O-P-O-T-A-M-I-A we've got scribes. Let's get the exact measurement. Do you like your new tower, Isha? <laughs> She's smiling, guys. No, she it. <laughs> <laughs> you are scribe? Yeah. Well, grab your stylus and get this down. I demand the ball of heaven. I demand the ball of heaven, Isha. So now your little scribblers have got your attention for me. Scribes, Isha. A very important. I demand the ball. Mesopotamian culture. What they write today will be able to read in a week, next year, in a thousand years, in four thousand years, tomorrow. <laughs> Gilgamesh disgraced me. He shamed me. What? Belittled me, me, Queen of Heaven and your daughter. Will you stand by and do nothing? Give me the bull and let it rip him to shreds. <laughs> <laughs> Isha, we have had a terrible year. No! You see, the thing well, is, the, the bull, past, it's not very well, accurate. Remember last time. Uh, the past it's, 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 has it's been, been a nightmare. The, the, the current is the head. For a whole year, head with those nothing grew. But I stopped the grain stores to last us seven years. Scribes, check the grain stores. Oh. Wow. <laughs> so you did. Mm, and we have plenty of young men of Uruk, most of them the bastard offspring of Gilgamesh. <laughs> so avenge your daughter, or I shall go down to hell to my sister Arishka Gal, who is queen of the infernal regions, and there I shall raise the dead. The dead shall eat the living till they outnumber the one thousand to one. So give me no more chicken! <laughs> We are going to count to three. <laughs> One, two, three. Mummy, you never breathe. She's about to go to the back. Three. What is going on again? Uh, what tablet. is going on again? Check the tablet. The tablet is impossible to read here. Who wrote this? Scribes. Right. Under no circumstances must Anu give Ishtar the bull of heaven. Gap of a few lines. But then I do suddenly seem to change my mind. Have your wife persuade you with a superb argument and you relent. Yes, let's try that. Yes. <laughs> Go on, take it, which one? All right, take the bull. <laughs> and so Anu placed the reins of the bull of heaven into the hands of Ishtar. She led it towards Oro. And let go! Ah. Good morning, Janine! Yes, lovely day, isn't it? It's wonderful. All right, great. Ah. My, oh my, it is good to be home. Oh! Oh! My goodness! What is this kerfuffle? Oh my god! 
Like waves on the shore overcame them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! I had a terrible dream. I heard the great Antu say, One of them must die. Then great Elul said, Let Ankadu 
Gilgamesh not die? Then Anu said, Let and Ea said, Let it be so. so. Hopefully, brother, you had a contrasting dream. <laughs> Why must my dear brother die? Spare him! He shall dwell with my sister Arishkagal in the kingdom of eternal night. Never shall he see again the face of She was going to raise them up. And seems to have forgotten. Uh, so perhaps we can save Enkidu after all. Sister, release the dead. Oh, oh dear. dear. <laughs> and Ishtar travelled through the seven doorways. To the land of the dead, where ruled Ereshkiga. And eighth day is weaker still. On the ninth day. Tenth day. Gilgamesh did not leave his side. On the twelfth day, at dawn, Gilgamesh kissed him farewell. And the soul of Enkidu was summoned to the land of the dead. is on a boat. Why are your cheeks thin and wasted? They slashed by the rain and roasted from the heat of the sun. Why have you wandered the earth? So why did I wander the seas, huh? I watched his body, day and night. I said to them, do not touch him, do not bury him. Then worms began to fall from his nose. <laughs> <from his, laughs> why do you laugh, boatman? Or worms fell from his nose. Why does that make you laugh? Because there were the worms. And here is you, journeying to Utnapishtim, the man who survived the flood, across the treacherous waters, to the ends of the earth. And for why? Because now I fear my own death. In Enkidu, I saw myself. I imagined the worms from my eyes, from my nose, and from my... What good is being part God? The labour of birth is one hour or twenty. The labour of death is one year or twenty. Not this for me. Not for Gilgamesh. Oh, for the swift exit. Or for eternity. What's the point in being two-thirds God if the one-third human can still finish you off? What's two-thirds of immortality? It's pure God or nothing. So it's immortality, you see. And you think Udnipish team has the answers? Well, I have been told... What do you know of him, you wretched man? Well, I have... Nothing! From... You know nothing of him! <sighs> Silence, boy! I am two-thirds God! Udnipish team is all the way! God. Who are you, a mere boat? I am Utnapish team! And this is my fate. <laughs> and you survived the flood? Yes. In this boat. Yes. The gods made the humans to do the hard work 
And hey, did they dug the canals and watered the earth? But oh, did they moan? Did they gossip and whine? Oh, look at so and so. Oh, doesn't she look a mess? That's not a she, that's a he. He can't have it, that's mine. And so mighty Ellen washed the world away with a great wave. And everyone died. <laughs> Except you. Uh, build a boat, they said. Save yourself, save your family, save animals. And we rode out the storm. What a storm it was. We saw bodies washed out of houses, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, floating on the ever-rising seas. But you survived. Wave after wave crashed down. But you survived. I wanted to plunge in and join them. Oh, the misery of being the only survivor of a catastrophe that we brought upon ourselves. And my thanks, well, they made me immortal, and so I steer this boat for all of eternity. It's not a bad gig, really. <laughs> You came to seek my advice, Gilgamesh. Prepare for death. This way lies the land of... Ashkiga. Sister.
I've wandered the earth. I dress in rags. I sought immortality, but I am just Gilgamesh. I am just a man. I have buried my puku deep within the earth, without which the wives of Uruk would have been wives only to their husbands. The daughters of Uruk would have lived undefiled. I look in the glass and I see no face. Please, give me back my Enkidu, that I may know myself again. And where do we end? But in such a tiny, tiny world of dark. Uncertain, harsh breathing. Said for a tube, but now. Not Ben. Thank you, do. The voices of our dearest. Near, but muffled. While quiet moving mercy, angels swaddle us in the next best thing to an amniotic sack. The labour of birth. One hour. Or twenty. In the labour of death. One year. Or twenty. And then could do so with relief as a gust of wind to the cosmos. Read, scribe! Uh, what of us? What does it say? It is written that the great god Ea lives in the sweet underground waters of the Yapsu River. And will the floodwaters come again? The tablet is hard to read. We thank you, Scribe Reed. And in the Pishtim, the wise sent prayers down to the Yapsu River. And the great god Ea visited in the dream and said, are you the human who was weeping? Is it your plea that has come down to the Yapsu? Know this! The state of our country is according to the behaviours of its people. If the water has left, is it because there's a gap. If the grain has left the field, it is because. If the mighty Euphrates is dry, it is because. 